Okay, hi, I'm Jane. This is Rosie. As you can see, Rosie's a cob, so you don't need an Arab in order to do endurance. You just need a horse that's relatively fit, because it's not an amble. You're going to be pushing on and trot. You don't have to be well, just going steady. Now, Rosie is wearing some stuff that's fairly specialised. Again, you, particularly for pressure rides, you don't really need that. But Rosie has a synthetic bridle here that disconnects the, the, the in this case, a bitless bridle off it to leave a head collar behind, which is very useful if you just want to take a bit out their mouth when you're finished so that you can just lead them from the head collar. I use a hackamore, she's very good with that. You can use a bit, that's absolutely fine. I use a hackamore because on longer rides I want her to eat grass, I want her to drink out of streams and that makes it easier for her to do that. But certainly on shorter rides you don't need that, so um, any standard tack will do. My saddle here is a specialised endurance saddle and these big knee rolls are fantastic if you're going down a steep hill. But again, any saddle or do, you just need to learn to lean back. I use a pommel pad, and I use that to carry extra water on very hot days. Um, probably won't bother today, it's a pleasure ride and it's, it's fairly short and it's in the evening, but it's very useful for that. But you can also put a first aid kit into a pommel pad, or indeed into a canto pad, and sometimes you get first aid kits that hang from the um, D-rings. Now you do have to carry a first aid kit, that's mandatory, and you'll find a list in... Um, in Scottish Endurance Riding Club's rule books about what needs to be in the first aid kit. You see I also carry a map case and that map case has in this case the map on the inside and the talk round on the outside. And what I've done with that here, Rosie, is on the top round it will give you kilometre markers and I have worked out in my maximum and minimum speeds according to where I should be or how fast I should be at those markers. So for a pressure ride I need to be between 8 and 10.99 kilometres per hour and so at 4 kilometres here, my first marker, I have to get there between 22 minutes and 30 minutes and that makes it easy for me to make sure that I'm not ahead or behind during the ride. The real important thing is the finishing time. I'm doing 22 kilometres tonight and I have to do that in between 2 hours and 2 hours 45 and if I'm outside those times I will not get the mileage so that's really important. You see I'm wearing a bum bag, that's actually where my first aid kit is and there's a place in it for juice and if you're doing a ride on a warm day that's absolutely vital and so I actually use a mixture of uh, about 50% fresh orange juice and 50% water because that gives me hydration but also some calories because you are burning energy and so it's important that you stay um, hydrated but also with some food. You can also, you can carry sweeties. Um, you'll find in your first aid kit you have to carry glucose tablets anyway but they're not actually very nice. <coughs> in terms of what I'm wearing, I'm wearing long riding boots, that suits me. You can wear uh, half chaps, you can wear chaps, you can wear anything with a heel if you do not have a cage, as I do, on the front of your stirrup. If you don't have a heel, if you want to ride in trainers for example, you must have a cage on the front of your, your, your stirrup so you can't st slip through and in the event of a fall get dragged by the stirrup. So that's a hugely important safety issue. I use cages that you just screw on but you can buy very fancy stirrups that have the cages integral. Um, I think these were 20 quid or even less just to get cages that you, um, you, you screw onto that. Um, I'm going to the vetting now. We have to be there in about seven minutes. I'm carrying my vet sheet. This is a pleasure vet sheet, so it's a small one. There's a bigger one for competitive. And I will hand that over at the start, and they will mark my start time and then mark my finish time. And then once I've done that, I will present back to the vet. I've already done that with Rosie today, and um, hopefully she'll pass sound with her heart rate within the correct parameters. Um, other than that, it's a question of enjoying yourself. It has to be fun. You have to go and have fun. Thank you. Welcome. Have a good ride. Thank you.